Okay, today we're going to demonstrate measuring an engine's block deck surface for warpage. Uh, so the first two measurements we're going to take are diagonally across the deck surface. Uh, this engine's block deck has been cleaned uh, with a rolock and scraped with a razor blade. Any debris on the surface uh, will throw the reading off. So the specification for this block deck is 4,000, so we've selected a 4,000th feeler gauge, and Ryan will now slip the, attempt to slip the feeler gauge underneath. If the feeler gauge fits underneath the flat, flat edge, we know that it is warped. Now we're going to go the opposite direction. Attempting to locate any warpage. Now we're going to go across the deck surface. Again, looking to see if the feeler gauge will fit between the block deck and the flat edge. If the feeler gauge does fit in between the flat edge and the block deck, the correct repair procedure would be to have the uh, block sent to the machine shop for a milling procedure. So far, it appears that everything's good. You could look to see exactly how warped it is, but if you locate the feeler gauge that uh, the warpage spec is, then you could use it as a go-no-go -no -go gauge. If it's warped 3,000th, it really doesn't matter. It's still in spec. So if you locate the warpage spec and select that particular feeler gauge, then you know if it's go or no go. Now we're going across the cylinder head and it appears that, I'm sorry, the engine block. And uh, it appears that this engine block is, is good to go. It passed the test. And that concludes the tutorial.